So from the public's perspective, this has been a emotional few years for you. Can you tell us what audiences can expect from the new album? This is a culmination of my life's work so far. I was under a lot of stress after my accident. But that's what this show is about. It's about rebirth. Hey, watch your step, miss. I cleared our tables. On the door. So tell me, how many of you have cried yourself to sleep at night? Hello and welcome to the Matt's Movie Reviews Podcast. I'm your host, Matthew Pekovic, and this is episode number 191. Out now in Australian cinemas is Fox Lux, a provocative and captivating story about the making of a pop star from the dark depths of a tragedy. An incredibly well-performed and intriguing film that will leave much food for thought after the credits roll. Fox Lux, Fox Lux is a mesmerizing and unique cinema experience made by who I feel is one of the best young filmmakers working today in Brady Corbet, who I'm very pleased to say joins me now. Brady, I thank you very much for joining me on my podcast. Of, of course, thank you so much for having me. Um, Brady, there are so many elements to this film. Um, it's, it shows the life of a pop star. It's a commentary on, on pop culture and the, the relationship between violence and pop culture. Um, for you, Brady, what was that first thing that first spark that gave this story life and created this movie that you made? I, I had just finished um, my previous movie, The Childhood of a Leader, in 2015, I guess it was. Um, and uh, um, uh, basically, I, I had been living abroad for about five years. Um, uh, my, my wife and I had our had our baby um, in, in Norway. Uh, we had shot uh, we had shot Childhood of a Leader in Hungary and done all of the post production for the film in France and Belgium. Um, and, and after you know uh, many years of, of being away from from, uh, of, uh, from from New York City, which is which is my home, um, I uh, decided that I wanted to make um, a movie uh, uh, set at home in New York. Um, uh, that was uh, about my, my, my own generation because my, my previous movie was a historical movie. But I had decided that I would try and treat um, uh, a, a story about this generation um, as, a, as a historical portrait. Um, and, um, and then, you know, what, what's interesting is that um, uh, as I kind of Sat down to to analyze some some of the of what I feel are the defining um, uh, notions and, and rhythms of of, of this era. Um, you know, I I, um, I I I found that when I when I when I leaned into the curve of, of a lot of things that are commonplace uh, in this day and age, that that um, that, that it's actually you know uh, it, it was it was turning into a very very dark dark comedy, uh, and um, and you know I, I'd never made a comedy before in my life, um, and and yet uh, uh, you know the I it, it, it the, because the moment in time we're living in is inherently so absurd, uh, it became um, a, a sort of uh, absurdist uh, operatic uh, uh, portrait of this character. Um, and, 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 you know, her, 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 her moment in the flow of time. The thing that's really remarkable about your movie is that it's a film that feels huge in its, in its themes, in its scope, and in its look, but it was shot in 22 days. When you have that type of restriction, time restriction, and, and, and budget restriction, um, how important is pre-production in that process to make sure that when you're ready to film, everything's ready to go and you can hit all, all those, um, everything you need to do? I mean, the stage performance itself must have taken a very long time to put everything together. You know, um, it's a good question. Um, it's true that at least the way that, that I know how to work, um, and, and, and there's not only one way, of course, but, but the way that works best for me um, is that when, when budget cuts um, uh, uh, inevitably um, uh, arrive on my desk, and in this case, 
I was getting hit with them left and right, you know, every, every few hours mm. uh, over the course of, of, our, of our pre-production. The one thing that I would always beg of the production is to not cut my prep. Um, I was like, you know, you, you, can, you can cut uh, our principal days, um, but, uh, but don't mess with my prep. Um, and, and it's because, you know, otherwise, we just wouldn't, we just wouldn't, um, uh, you know, we'd be running around like, like, like chickens with our heads cut off. And, and, and the truth is, is that no matter how much experience you have, every film um, uh, it, it brings a series of unique challenges. Um, and, and, uh, and so, you know, uh, we, we ended up with a 22-day shoot which, uh, of course, I was, you know, not happy about. Um, but uh, but, but the, the, the way that I've learned movies get made is that they, they, they get done as long as you don't stop making them. Yep. And, um, and so you just have to push, push, push. And it, it's, it's frustrating um, because, of course, even, um, you know, an extra few hours uh, uh, can make a, 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 a great deal of difference in the outcome of, of a scene, um, but you know we, we have pretty high standards, and uh, the, the whole team, and and you know we, we did everything that we could with the time that we had. Um, so I'm I'm very um, I'm very proud of, of everyone's accomplishment because we somehow managed to make a movie that was uh, um, uniquely uncompromised. Yep. Uh, uh, and, 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 and during a, a period uh, of, of uh, where, where it's very, very difficult to make movies like this. Um, uh, I mean, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, not, it's not as easy as it was. And, and, I, and I grew up making movies uh, all my life, acting in movies, and I remember um, a, a, a period of time when, when filmmaking was a little bit more peaceful uh, but, but, you know, now to, to make a movie, especially a movie that's designed uh, for a theater, for a theatrical experience, um, you know, there's just, there's just not that much money for it uh, because of the shifting landscape of streaming and all that stuff. Yes, yes, definitely. Um, in, in no way does Vox Lux say there is a relationship between violence and pop music or, or anything of that kind. Um, having said that, though, there have been recent examples in the world. I'm talking about like the uh, the uh, Bataclan Theatre incident with Eagles of Death Metal, Ariel de Grande with Manchester, where those those two worlds clash. When you were writing this screenplay, did those very fresh incidents stick in your mind whatsoever? Yeah. Did they have any type of influence? The Bataclan, yes, because the Bataclan happened. Um, around the same time that the screenplay was written. Um, the Manchester bombing, no, um, that was um, uh, a, a, a dark um, coincidence. Mm. Um, you know, uh, Parkland was, uh, of course, also um, um, uh, a, a dark coincidence, the fact that there was a memorial held where, where victims you know, sang original um, uh, music that they had written in honor of, of their, their fallen classmates. Um, you know, uh, all of that said, though, there have there, been almost as many mass shootings uh, last year as there were days in the year, right? So it, it, there's nothing particularly prescient about the film. Um, it, it, it's, uh, it, 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 it's simply about life during wartime. And, um, and, 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 you know, it's, it, 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 it's, it's a sort of civil war over here, mm. um, uh, <laughs> is, is how it feels. I mean, because, you know, I have, I have a young daughter who, who, who has uh, uh, school shooting drills instead of fire drills <laughs> at her school now. And, um, you know, I, it, it, it's, uh, it, it's perverse and it's ridiculous and, and, uh, and it, it's nonsensical and, and, um, and, and yet it is, uh, it, uh, it is, it is happening. The country seems to be, uh, at times disintegrating, uh, before our very eyes. Um, but, um, uh, you know, I'm an optimist and I hope things will get better. Um, uh, but, uh, uh there's some things that are so ingrained in, in this country and its conception of itself that it's hard for me to imagine, uh, much changing. 
um, at least not very quickly. So anyhow, um, you know, basically the, the idea of the movie was that, um, that we live in, in, in a moment in time uh, where um, um, uh, these sort of clickbait headlines um, are, are, are meant to, uh, to, 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 to grab us um, uh, in as extreme a way possible. And so if you look at your Apple News updates, um, if, you, if you happen to have an iPhone, uh, you have the day's headlines and you will have, you know, for example, I can probably, I can look at mine now. Um, I have, uh, I have um, uh, a story about uh, a Nike shoe explosion at, uh, at a basketball game. Yep. I have a, a, a story about R. Kelly charged with aggravated criminal sexual abuse. Uh, and Trump blocks federal funding for clinics providing abortions or abortion referrals. And then I have a story about the Kardashians. Mm. And the thing is, is that, that obviously um, this sort of collision uh, in, the, in the national and international consciousness, uh, because it is a global world that we're living in now, um, uh, you know, the collision of, of, of pop culture updates as, as well as, um, uh, as, as uh, you know, a, 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 a important, uh, valid news uh, um, that, 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 that we need to know about. It, it's all gotten a little bit mixed up, and, and there's something, um, the movie is speaking to, to uh, the, the, that internal conflict that it's created with it, with, within us all, because every, every second of every day, we are faced with an atrocity that we can choose to uh, uh, engage with or not. Uh, we can choose to uh, watch or listen to something which distracts us from, from these things that are happening, um, uh, or we can choose to, uh, uh, to dive in. And I, and I think that, I think that the, the idea was that you have a film which opens, the first 10 minutes are a massacre, yeah. and the last 10 minutes are, are a pop concert. And... Um, and that it would have this kind of perfect symmetry, and yet these these the the the, the, the it, it, it 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 leaves one feeling a little bit carved out because you know the show is quite enjoyable and fascinating, um, but uh, in the context of what's come before it, it's quite challenging. So I I, I was interested in in, in that about um, uh, about the rub of that that we deal with. You know, uh, that, that societal conflict. Well, for everyone out there listening, Vox Lux out now in Australian cinema stars Nellie Portman and Jude Law. Uh, Brady, I just want to say once again, congratulations to you on this movie. I thought it was absolutely remarkable. It looks great. Had great Everything was great in it. And um, I can't wait for your next film. And I thank you very much for your time today. I really appreciate it. Have a great day.